hi, I'm doing a personal reading for one of my clients. You know, she wants to know where's her career going with Pathway. What's going on with a house that she's thinking about purchasing. What's going on with her family. So I have family room. And what's going on with her love life. With her significant other. So, thank you. Like and subscribe to my channel. Please use discernment. Um, this is a personal reading. I do my readings this way. If this is one of the ways you can take them or I upload them to you personally. She likes to do it this way so that way, you know, it's better for her. So, I'm going to see what the spirit, what God, her higher power wants her to know. So, please use discernment. Take what resonates. Leave the rest alone. And someone's energy sometimes you can relate to someone else's story because we're all going through a, a little bit of everything so thank you spirit tell me about this pathway tell me about this pathway this job this new job because i feel like this is a new job it's been Financially beneficial. Tell me about this pathway for my client. How is this job going? Thank you, Spirit. A feminine. A feminine. Virgo. She's a hard worker with the Virgo energy. That's what people see her as, a hard worker. Tell me about this Virgo, this hard worker. And she can have Virgo heavy in her chart. I'm getting Virgo rising. Thank you, Spirit. Tell me about this hard worker. Tell me about this job. Where is this job going for her? Thank you, Spirit. Hmm. Mediumship. Whatever this job is, is going to support her family. Whatever this job is, is, is going to be very, very beneficial. You're going to be able to support your family with this job. So you're going to be moving up in the year. In the year, you're going to be moving up in this job. Tell me, tell me more about mediumship spirit. Red flag. Red flag. Tell me about this red flag. Maybe somebody you talk to can be giving you advice. Somebody else you talk to that been giving you advice. Not a good one. Someone you talk to regularly. Tell me about this red flag. I got moon. Bad magic. Whoever's giving you advice on this job or whatever they're doing, start taking their advice. They don't have good interests for you. In this career path that you chose. Tell me about bad moon magic spirit. Hmm. This can be an older gentleman who's been giving you advice. I got the ten of swords about this career. A mature man could be giving you advice about this pathway that you chose. It's the Ten of Swords in reverse, so you don't have to worry about it. What you need to do is stop stop listening to this person. The pathway you chose was good. It was your pathway. Tell me about the Ten of Swords. If this person can be an Aquarius. This person can be a Gemini or a Libra. Tell me about this Ten of Swords for this job career. Somebody is jealous of this job career you, you chose. Don't listen to this person. Whoever this mature man is who's been telling you about this job, who tells you that they know what they're talking about, they're jealous. Don't listen to them. One more for this jealous person. Tell me about this jealous person. Thank you, spirit. Self-sabotage. They want you to self-sabotage yourself. Stay on this path that you're on with this job. This job was meant in place for you. You're going to be moving up. You're going to be moving up. And you already know who to watch out for too. 
You're very perceptive. You're very observative. This job is good for you. Anything else for this pathway, this job, this career spirit? Thank you. And you're going to be getting a small a raise. Not too big, but it's going to be a, a decent sized raise for you. Ten of Pentacles. Ten of Pentacles. This is going to lead to great things financially with the Ten of Pentacles. Stay within this career. You're going to move up. It could be a little stressful because there's a lot of different energies and people you, you, you're dealing with. But this career brings you happiness. This career brings you joy. It's going to be, it's going to lead to the Ten of Pentacles financially. That's Capricorn energy. That's Taurus energy. That's Virgo energy. This pathway is good for you. All right, Spirit. Thank you. Tell me about this house. She's, is she going to be moving soon? I got the moon card, Cancer Energy. You're going to know in a little bit. You're going to know in a little bit. And something about this mature man. I don't know. Whoever this mature man might be trying to talk you out of moving to this house. Or investing in the house. But you're going to find out what the reason why with the moon card in reverse Cancer Energy. Tell me about the moon in reverse, Spirit. But this house is definitely in your future. And this raise you're going to get is going to help you out. I got temperance, Sagittarius energy, undecided energy. You're not too sure. You're not too sure. Whoever this mature man is, they can probably be trying to talk you out of it. You're on the fence about it. But keep going. It's going to balance out. It's going to balance out. Tell me about this temperate, sad energy, undecided energy. Karma, good karma. This is going to be a good move for you. Everything is going to happen in due time. You just have to be patient. Just be patient. Right now, the job market, I mean, not the, the housing market, is going through a transition. It's going through a better transition. But if you go to the bank and get a mortgage, get a loan, make sure you can be able to pay it because they're going to give you high interest rates on that, that loan you take out in the hopes that you're not able to pay it. So whatever house you're looking for, make sure you get something that's reasonable. So you, if you have to pay it by yourself, you can do that. Tell me about this karma, good karma. Knight of Wands, don't rush into anything. It's just saying, don't rush into anything. Take your time. Take your time. Tell me about this Knight of Wands. You taking your time is going to give you good karma and finding the proper house for you. You're going to know the house when you see it. You're going to know. Tell me about the Knight of Wands. Don't rush into anything. The house is already in the cards for you. Knight of Cups, an offering. Knight of Cups, undecided. Tell me about this Knight of Cups. Tell me about this Knight of Cups. This is a young energy, a close re relative, of course. Yes, yes. Whoever you're supposed to be going into with in this house, this relationship, they're undecided. They're still they're still contemplating it. They want to make sure it works both for both ends. They want to make sure it works for both ends. They're definitely thinking about it. Tell me more about the Knight of Cups, Spirit. Spirit said yes. Thank you. Self mastery. This person who's supposed to be going into the house with you, they're learning. They're learning. Just give them time. It's going to happen regardless. Just give them time. They're self-mastering themselves. 
They don't want to rush it into anything. They want to make sure the house works for you and them and their family too. And that's a good, that's good. That's a good quality for whoever this Knight of Cups is. He's, he's, he's weighing out all the options, all the, um, right and wrongs or what can happen. He just wants both parties to be happy. Anything else about this house spirit? Aries. It could be with an Aries and this person feels like they're going to take the leap. They trust you. They're going to take the leap of faith on this house with you. They trust you more than they trust anyone. And your ancestors got your back. So whatever you going to do with this house, you got backup. This house is in your future. It's time. Just don't rush into anything. Thank you, spirit. Thank you. Don't forget to give your ancestors an offering of gratitude and thanks. Tell me about this family. Tell me about this family. Oh, hold on. It was a card too, still. Okay, so this Six of Swords is choosing a path. Whatever this house is, this house is going to be very lucky, very protected with their vein. I didn't even see the Six of Swords. And this can be what an Aquarius, a Gemini, or a, a Libra. That means this is a smart move. This is a smart plan. And whatever this house is, is going to be protected. Thank you, Spirit. Ancestors got you. God got you. Tell me about this family. How's it going? What's going on with this family? Thank you, Spirit. This family room. Thank you. Seven of Pentacles. Taurus. Capricorn. Or Virgo, stop investing so much into this family. They don't have your best interests at heart. And you know who it is. Some people don't have your best interests at heart. You got to be real careful. Tell me about this Seven of Pentacles. With this family room. Thank you, Spirit. Three of Wands, they're just waiting for you to, for you. They're waiting for your finances to come in. They're waiting for you, everything that you bring to the table. I feel like it's a using energy. They're waiting for their ships to come in. They're waiting for their ships to come in with you. And you are the ship. Tell me about this three of wands. They know that you are the money maker, the go getter. And they're waiting for you to come up so they can you can take care of them. And you know who these people are. Tell me about the three of wands, spirit. A divine masculine is gonna be mad because you stop investing like you you've been. And that's if you decide to. Whoever this divine masculine who you've been helping out a lot, giving so much to, they're going to be upset. You show your love by providing financial stability, mental stability, clarity. That's how you show your love. You have a lot of Taurus in you too. Taurus show their love through financial wealth. That's, what, that's how you show your love. Tell me about divine masculine, man. Because if you stop investing, it's going to cause burdens. It's going to cause burdens with this Ten of Wands. This is Aries, Sagittarius, a Leo. So this divine masculine is going to be mad if you stop investing into whatever situation this is. With this family room. Tell me about the Ten of Wands. King of Pentacles, Capricorn, Taurus, Virgo. Older gentleman, a father figure, someone who's supposed to be financially situated, straight. Lying on you. I don't know who this divine masculine that's mad. This I feel like it's this King of Pentacles. They're going to be lying on you. 
Tell me about this King of Pentacles mental spirit. Tell me about this King of Pentacles mental. What's going on with this King of Pentacles? What is his mind like? Whoever this King of Pentacles is in your life, they're gossiping, toxic, negative talk about you. They're gossiping, negative, toxic. Tell me more about this King of Pentacles, Capricorn, Taurus, or Virgo. Tell me about this person. Tell me more about this King of Pentacles. Thank you. Taurus. Is this whoever this mature man is? Taurus. They're Taurus. Capricorn, Taurus. Or Virgo. Tell me about more about this King of Pentacles. This Capricorn, Taurus, or Virgo. Heavy Taurus. They have a weird obsession with money. 888. I just said they have a weird obsession with money. This is abundance. This person has a weird obsession with money. Yo money. Yo money. Tell me about this abundance. Thank you, spirit. Eight of Pentacles in reverse. And they don't want to invest. They don't want to invest financially with the Eight of Pentacles. This is all, this is a lot of money going around on this board with this Taurus, Capricorn, or Virgo. Money seems to be a big deal here. Tell me about this Eight of Pentacles in reverse spirit. Thank you. King of Wands. This person is an entrepreneur, looks good, smells good, very attractive. People are drawn to this person. I'm feeling like it's the King of Pentacles, the King of Pentacles too. Tell me about this King of Wands. That's what people see him as. Oh. Mmm. Ace of Swords, not very truthful. Ace of Swords in reverse, not very truthful. Aquarius, Gemini, or Libra, not very truthful with the Ace of, Ace of Swords in reverse. This person does not tell the truth. And you have a jealous female, a hater that wants to be you. So not only do you have a, a masculine who doesn't is not honest and concerned about your money, you also have a female jealous woman that wants to be you. Tell me about this Ace of Swords in reverse, Spirit. Ace of Swords in reverse. What is he lying about? What is not being truthful about? Somebody don't want to see the truth. Page of Wands. This is all about a fresh new start. So somebody could be lying about a fresh new start. This can be in... Let's see what this fresh new start is. Aquarius. Not Aquarius. Aries. Leo. I'm picking up Leo. Tell me about this page of wands. I am married. Whatever this fresh new start is, somebody is supposed to be trying to have is saying I am married I am married tell me about I am married so how are they supposed to have a fresh new start if they're married no so let's see what no is tell me about no Tell me about no spirit. Thank you. A storm is coming. Whoever this person is, this masculine, let's just say things are going to be coming out in the dark. Things are going to be coming out so you can see clearly exactly what it is with the moon card in reverse. You're about to see in the next three to six months what's really going on. Thank you, spirit. So someone is saying someone is married and they're saying they're not. You're supposed to be having a fresh new start with something, but somebody is marrying and they're saying they're not. A storm is coming. 
And it's not going to be a very good one for whoever's lying. Tell me about this mature man. Tell me about this mature man that's going through these changes. The significant other. Oh. Sun card in reverse. Somebody needs to see exactly what's going on. There, there's, it needs to be seen. Sun card in reverse is not a good situation. This person is keeping a lot of secrets. They don't want the situation or what's going on with them to be seen. With the sun card in reverse, this is Libra energy. Things are not balanced. Things are not being seen for what it is. Tell me about this, this significant other sun card in reverse. Tell me about this significant other. Communication problems. Whoever the significant other is, they have communication problems with you. They're not being honest. They're not telling the truth. Tell me about communication problems, spirit. I got a jealous male ex-lover. So wh whoever this communication problems is, it could be with a jealous male or ex-lover and fake love. A jealous male ex-lover and fake love. Tell me about this jealous male ex-lover. Libra energy, more balance. They need more balance. They could be a Libra and they need more balance. Tell me about this Libra energy. Jealous male, ex-lover. Three of swords. Heartbreak. Heartbreak. This is one of the worst cards before, besides the ten of swords. Heartbreak. Aquarius, Gemini. Or Libra. Tell me about this fake love. This significant other. They can also have Scorpio energy. Also have Scorpio energy. Very pessimistic. Keeps a lot of secrets. Very mysterious. So they also have Scorpio in their chart. Keeps a lot of secrets. Tell me about this Scorpio energy spirit. Thank you. Intuitive. Intuitive. So this person is intuitive. This person is intuitive. Tell me about intuitive. Also have Aquarius energy can be a little bit cold, a little bit off sometimes. Baby mama. So this, this must be this person's um, kid's mother. You have problems with this person or they have problems with you. Tell me about this baby mama spirit. Detached. Detached. So this baby mama is detached, disconnect. Tell me about detached, disconnect. They want to talk to you about this three of swords energy, this heartbreak. So whoever this baby mama mother is who's detached, disconnected, here mentally something is wrong. Mentally, something is wrong with this person. She wants to talk to you about this three of swords energy. Tell me about I want to talk to you.
about a money hungry man. So she wants to talk to you about this money hungry man. She wants to talk to you about this money hungry man. Tell me more spirit. What else? What else about the significant other? Cancer card, chariot. Somebody chose a different direction for balance, for, for love. This chariot card is all about balance and love. Tell me about the chariot. Tell me more about the significant amber in this chariot. Good friends. Good friends. Tell me about good friends, spirit. Tell me about good friends. Alignment. Alignment. So whoever this person is, cancer energy, made their choice. They chose something because they of somebody was more aligned, somebody they got along better with like friends. Tell me about alignment. Sagittarius. Sagittarius energy came out again. And that's because they want to be fear. Somebody wants to be fear. Somebody wants to balance something. Tell me about this Sagittarius energy. And this is also past, present, and future. Guilty. So that is the truth. That is the truth. So somebody chose a, a somebody chose a better path. Because they want things to be more fair. They want things to be more balanced. They feel like they could be good friends with somebody. They feel like they're aligned more with whoever this good friend is. This person could have Sagittarius in their, their chart. They want things to be fair. They want things to be balanced. They feel like they can be safe here. And that it says guilty. So that's the truth. So let's see some more. So as of yet, you know, right now, we know that the job path is, is doing well. You're doing very well in the job career. You're going to be moving up. You're also going to be getting like a small raise, you know, to a good insensitive incentive to help you keep going. This house is definitely going to happen. It's in the future. Just don't rush. Make sure... If anything happens, you're able to pay the mortgage on your own if it ever happens, even though I don't see that happening. Whoever you're going in with the house, this person is very reliable. They're looking at the scope of everything, taking their time, so that way everybody, each party is happy. This family, this investment with this family, the spirit says stop investing so much into this family, whoever this person is, this male figure who's greedy, who wants so much for you. And as far as the relationship, the mature man, you already know you had your problems. This person chose you. They want, they feel like they can be good friends with you, that you're more in alignment. But you have other communication problems with other people. Try to keep that separate. Try to keep your personal life away from your family. They're going to be too involved and try to make you do things or feel a certain type of way that you shouldn't be feeling. It's going to keep you in your head. So let's see. Spirit, tell me more about this significant other. Tell me more about the significant other. JN. Tell me more about JN. Tell me more about JN. In this lover situation, tell me more. Thank you, Spirit. It says, stay optimistic about your love life. Positive thinking and faith will bring you romance. You understand? Stay optimistic. Don't let the past mess up your present. Tell me more about JM Spirit and this love connection.
people be jealous of what they, people are jealous of what you have. Don't forget that. They are jealous of what you have. Don't let them ruin what you have because of their jealousy and the love you have for them. No, no one is separated to. Your life is personal and private and make sure they know that all the time because you don't know these that these people are jealous of you. You feel it, but you don't want to believe it. Getting to know each other as you reveal your innermost selves to each other. Your bond deepens. So this love connection with JM is going to keep growing. Nobody's perfect. Just keep investing and you'll know when to stop. You get messages too. Retreat at the bottom of the deck. It's time to disconnect from the world. It's time to disconnect from the world. Tell me more, spirit. Tell me more. One more spirit. I said one more spirit gave me two more, but that's okay. Bottom of the deck. Peace comes from within. Do not seek it without. You always know the, tr know the truth. Peace comes from within. So does the truth. You ain't got to go outside of you looking for it. I'm just extra confirmation for you. So that way you will know exactly what you're feeling is right. So thank you so much from my services that you provide financially. Thank you. I appreciate it. Never give up on something you really want. Get your emotions under control. Sometimes it feels like you're drowning. Never give up on what you want. You know just as much energy to put into it and what not to. You're very smart. You're very gifted and bright. When you meet your soulmate, you'll feel calm, no anxiety, no agitation. This person is your soulmate. You feel it, so do, so do they. But don't forget this person has their own cycle that they are breaking also. So be there for each other and everything will work out perfectly. As much as it can. Nothing is perfect. But when you got that right person, everything feels perfect. In the end, you will tried and you cared. And sometimes that is enough. That is it. Long as you keep trying and you know you're doing right and you're on the right path and you got good intentions to what you're putting in and investing your energy in, that's all that matters. Love yourself as much as you want your soulmate to love you. That is it. This is a connection you got. You pour energy into that person, that person will pour the energy into you. And don't forget, no one is perfect. You got this, keep having it, and nothing but blessings coming to you. You're on the right path. Stay that way. Thank you for liking and subscribing to my gifts, and my wisdom that I bless you with from your higher power. Thank you.